Timber and Bumper and Conquer and Tip Chop and Spoiler Alert Drumstick and Pipsy. Banjo, but not cause of me. And crunch. <laughs> and whisper. And let's not forget about the main character, Diddy Kong. Hey guys, welcome to Diddy Kong Racing, another Let's Play I'm doing, as you probably know because you're watching this. Uh, this is a classic racer game for the N64, not quite as good as Mario Kart, uh, but it's got a much better single player, so I will be doing that. Anyways, let's start, go to the character selection. So, if you are starting a new game, you will only have four characters, you will not have Drumstick or TT. Now. These characters are unlockable. We'll be unlocking Drumstick uh, later in the game because he's very easy. TT to unlock him, you have to beat all of the time trial records in this. That's insanely hard, and I am not turning TT off and unlocking him again. There's just no way. However, if we go to options, magic codes, if we go to the code list, you'll see there's control TT and control drumstick. We're going to turn control drumstick off. So I can show you how to unlock him in the actual game. It's very easy. And as you can see, drumstick's no longer available. Alright, so the nice thing about Diddy Kong Racing is for the story mode, you can play as any character you want, and you can change characters in the middle of the story mode, which is really nice. So these characters are all different, so... I'm Diddy! There's Diddy Kong, he's kind of the average uh, all-around character, if a little slower than average. Bumper the Badger, who remembers this guy. Uh, in my experience, he's like fairly good in hovercrafts and airplane. He's just kind of like an all-around guy, much like Diddy, but he's like pretty good at turning, so that's good now. I'm Banjo. There's Banjo. This is actually the first game Banjo from Banjo Kazooie actually start in, which is kind of cool. He's one of the heavier units. He's pretty fast, but his turning and excel leave something to be desired. Whoa. This that's not Tigger Timber. He's actually, I think, technically the main character in Diddy Kong Racing, because it's like his island that you're on for the story mode. He's like a slightly faster than average character, but he's still got decent turning and excel, so he's a very good character. There's Pipsy. Pipsy, other than TT, is my personal favorite character in the game. She's the slowest character in the game, but her turning and excel are amazing. There's Tip Top. He's much like Pipsy, except his turning and excel are not as good. There's Conker. Uh, he's also one of the lighter characters in the game, but he's quite a bit faster than Pipsy and Tip Top, but his turning is not as good. And then... Uh, it's crunch. crunch. He is the heaviest character in the game. He's also the fastest. Actually, no, he's not. He's one of the fastest, but his turning is, like, just completely awful. Don't pick him unless you're in a hovercraft. And then... I'm TT. So, the hardest unlockable character in the game is without a doubt the greatest character in the game. He's insanely fast, has great turning, and great excel. Yeah. For the sake of being fair, I will actually not be using TT in this story mode, just so that way I can show you how you can beat it without TT. Because let's be honest, not everybody has time to be TT. So, I'll start by being Diddy Kong. Alright, so there's Adventure and Adventure 2. Adventure 2 is exactly like Adventure, except it's mirror mode, and it's a bit harder. And... I'm still trying to figure out, do I want to do Adventure, or do I want to do Adventure 2? 
Eh, I'll just do adventure. Alright, we're gonna have to start a new game, and no, that is not, like, any of me or my family's initials. That's literally just Orgoracle. <laughs> Gore! Oh, that's a great initials. No. Alright. Oh, yeah. Not you. It's art. Graphics are still pretty good, even to this day. Look at the rainbow. The frogs, admittedly, aren't great. Alright, his name is Taj, not just the genie. Alright, so this like racing game actually has an overworld. It's not just like, oh yeah, compete in all these races. So as is usual with racing games, holding A is accelerate, B is break. Uh, R is kind of power slide, except you don't get boosts by power sliding in this like you do in Mario Kart. And then Z is horn or use power up. Pretty simple. So you can drive around a bit, get the hang of the things. Oh, I did not mean to do that. So as you can see, there are hot air balloons. There's like, I have zero hot air balloons. That's like the main currency in the game. That's like the main collectible that you need to get. And also what we can do is if we go to onto this giant Taj portrait and honk our horn, it will summon him. Hello, friend. Select your All right, so the main like gimmick I'll say of Diddy Kong Racing is that there are three different vehicles. Car, hovercraft, and plane. So car is like by far the best for ground travel, hovercraft is really good for water travel, and then plane is good for aerial travel. A lot of the courses you can play as any vehicle, and when in doubt, car is usually the best. For the overworld though, I like being in the plane, it gives you a lot more uh, movement. So for the plane, you have to be moving in order to uh, be in the air. B is still brake, I don't recommend braking in the airplane though. R's power slide still. That really helps you with the turns. And then move up, you go down, move down, you go up. So it's inverted controls. Don't crash into anything. So I'm just gonna go around and collect some hot air balloons. Also a nice trick you can do, oh wow. I forgot, if you double tap R while you're in a plane, you'll start doing tricks. Dun, 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 dun. Did he call him racing his great music? Also, you'll notice what I was doing there, which gives me a lot better turning. If you hold R and B at the same time, your power sliding will be way better. Alright, there's a balloon down here that I want to get. Ba -ba -da -ba 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 -ba. Diddy Kong Racing has great music. Yes, it has great music. Yes, it does. There's a hot air balloon. It's hiding. The plane travel does take some getting used to, believe me. Also, I feel like the characters have, like, different stats depending on which vehicle they're in. So, for example, Pipsy's amazing in a car. Like, okay in an airplane. And then, like, uh, terrible in a hovercraft. You can also run into Taj if you want his attention. Hello, friend. Alright. So now that we've got some hot air balloons, let's just go up here. This is the first world. You need one hot air balloon to enter this door. 
Welcome to the Dino Domain, the first world in Diddy Kong Racing. So, there's a nice little lobby here, so there's the exit door, and then the, uh, the amount of the number on the door equals the number of hot air balloons you need in order to do that level. If you beat the level, then you'll get another hot air balloon. And you'll notice Tichi's wandering around here. That's basically so you can be like, check your progress, or um, turn on time trials. We can talk to him. You can ask me about your game status or select my time trial mode to practice a level. I also have your best ghosts. Game status. So, we don't have a lot. Okay. That door over there is the boss door. Once we beat all of these levels, we'll be able to activate the boss. Down there, that's the trophy room. That'll come in handy later. And then that room over there, if we explore, is a locked door. That'll also come in handy later. Anyways, let's actually get started with the racing, shall we? First race of the game? Ancient Lake. Ancient Lake. Oh, and I have to go up against TT in these races. Fun. So bananas you can collect. These are kind of like the coins from Mario Kart, or like the newer ones, or the really old ones. Where um, you collect them, your top speed increases. So one like Mario, where it's random power-ups, these, it's like, the different colored balloons give you different power-ups. So the blue ones give you boosts, which are my favorite. The red ones give you offensive power-ups you can shoot ahead. The green ones are offensive power-ups you shoot backwards, and we'll get into the others when we actually reach there. Also, there's zippers here. If you run over them, you'll get a boost. And... If you collect two of the same power-up, like uh, the color power-up in a row, you'll get a better version of it. As you can see, that gave me a much bigger boost than the just one of them would. Be careful you don't hit things, though. So the first race is very simple. Avoid the dinosaur. As long as you're not crunched, you probably won't go off-road too much. And that's Ancient Lake. So we'll, we'll be doing a lot of that in this game, just going to a race and beating it to get more balloons. So second level, Fossil Canyon. Fossil Canyon. I will also try to show off all the characters in the game in this playthrough. We're just starting with Diddy. So if you press A at the right time at the beginning of the race, you can get a boost. So you can see I just dropped oil. Any enemy who slips on it will lose a lot of speed. Red power-ups or missiles. Also, I am aware I am not racing terribly great for this game. There are a lot of cool tricks you can learn and, uh, as you go to make your racing a lot better. I will be showing those off, believe me, as the game progresses. This is far from my best time. The courses in this are pretty cool, though. There are very few courses in this where I'm just like, oh, that's a terrible course. In fact, there, I'm not sure if there are really any courses in this where I'm just like, that's awful. Level 2 red power-up gives you a homing missile that'll track onto the person in front of you. Or if you're shooting him first, it's just a regular missile. Mmm, bananas. Mmm. That was the R and B at the same time trick. 
And level 3 red, you get 10 missiles. Woo! Do -do 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 -do. Ding! Be prepared to see this screen a lot in the game. This is for you. Alright, I think we've got time for at least one more race today. Jungle Falls. This is one of my favorite levels in the game. So as you can see, I did not get the boost that time. So the first lap, you want to pick up bananas. Trust me, those will really help you in the long run on this level. And most levels, to be perfectly honest. Purple balloons give you shield power-ups, which protect you against the projectiles. I love how you race through a, like, vein of dinosaur bones. That's amazing. This should be a pretty short Let's Play, all in all, because Diddy Kong Racing is not a very long game. Oh no! And the power-up I just picked up from the Rainbow Balloon is a magnet power-up, which basically will attract you to the person in front of you. It doesn't have a lot of range, though, so... If you're all clustered, it's a pretty good power-up, but otherwise, you're not going to get a lot of distance. So as you can see, because I have the shield, the oil did not affect me. Diddy Kong's not even touching the steering wheel. Diddy Kong's basically like, this is the bar. This is how high you have to go in this game. <laughs> Alright. Wow, I feel like we didn't do a lot in this video. I basically just explained the gimmicks. However, we're approaching the 20-minute mark, so... I'm actually going to leave the episode off there. I prefer shorter videos, as I think a lot of my audience does. Thanks for watching, I'm Color Flority, and I hope to see you for the next episode. Have a great day, and God bless.